pressure, somehow escapes. Kaiser's pass is incomplete. Right through the hands of Coleman. And he can't believe it. Truth is, no one is surprised in Cleveland. Final game of the season, less than two minutes to go. Browns down four on fourth and two. Deshaun Kaiser finds a wide open Corey Coleman for the first down. But the ball goes right through his hands. That play sums up the entire season. The Browns dropped the ball all year long. Unfortunately, a team, a coach, an organization, not good enough to earn one win. The only win in the last two years came on Christmas Eve. Now here we are on New Year's Eve, talking about a team that will go down as one of the worst in NFL history. The 2017 Browns joined the 2008 Lions as the only teams to go 0-16. Yet owner Jimmy Haslam still believes in Hugh Jackson, who's now 1-31 as Browns head coach. The Cleveland Browns end the season 0-16, officially becoming winless and hitting rock bottom. Fans have had enough, as they'll be having an 0-16 perfect season parade led by Chris McNeil. But there is room for optimism here, as the Browns hold the number one and number four overall picks in the draft. Back for their off-season program, Mary Kay, but what everyone is still talking about is the NFL draft a little over a week away. And the question is, is there a front runner right now for the number one pick? Well, we talked to Hugh Jackson, and he said, all four top quarterbacks are still in play. We're talking about, of course, Sam Darnold, Josh Allen, Baker Mayfield, and Josh Rosen. Hard to believe that all four are still in play with only eight days until the NFL draft. But commissioner to make the announcement. With the first pick in the 2018 NFL draft, the Cleveland Browns select Baker Mayfield. Wow. Quarterback, Oklahoma. It is Baker Mayfield. Uh -huh. With the fourth pick in the 2018 NFL Draft, the Cleveland Browns select Denzel Ward, defensive back, Ohio State. With the 35th pick in the 2018 NFL Draft, the Cleveland Browns select Nick Chubb, running back, Georgia. Uh, we made a decision what we thought was best for the Cleveland Browns. Tyrod Taylor was best for the Cleveland Browns. He's our starting quarterback. Very excited about it. Quarterback competition, there's been too many of those. I know you just a few minutes ago said Tyrod's our starter. No question. It's safe to say that there's no competition. He's going to open the season. He's going to be a starting quarterback. There's no competition. I think it's important that I address both of you guys together first. Uh, I've made a decision to make Baker the backup quarterback. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I want you guys to hear it from me. I said all the stuff that flies out there and all that bullshit. I think it's important that you hear that from me, okay? Which is a lot of responsibility for you. Doesn't change for you. Still got to be ready to play, ready to go. But that's the direction I want to travel. Okay. He beat out Drew Stanton for the backup job. What? <laughs> so Sam Darnold is starting a quarterback for the New York Jets, and he was the third overall right. pick. But the first overall pick, who I think should be starting for the Cleveland Browns, right. is relegated to having to hear on national TV the behind-the-scenes talk is being aired nationally on HBO that, that you won the second string job? <laughs> Taylor running out of time, and he goes down again. Johnson, one on one, because it's going to be man coverage. Taylor lofting it for the end zone overthrow. Incomplete. The move is out of timeout. Taylor going to throw deep down the far sideline. It is Cameron Sutton with the interception. Taylor to throw. Middle of the field. It's picked up. Accepted by Marcus Williams. For the lead, it's up there, and out there, and right through there for the six. At home, fourth and five, and thinking, oh, no, and then, oh, yes, what a play. <laughs> They're down in six, blitz off the edge, and Taylor goes. <laughs> and now Taylor is going to go down. A flag on the play, but Avery Williams. Field's debut is Taylor's being led off the field. The Browns use a timeout. They have one timeout left. They're about to get it back, and we are about to see the uh, pro debut, at least in the regular season, of Baker Mayfield. Yeah. A chance to see 
what Baker Mayfield's going to do. And I can tell you, I talked to him down on the field before the game. I said, are you ready to go tonight? He said, I am ready to go if called upon. And this is going to be a fun drive right here, a fun second half. They knew they had their man, the Browns, when they saw the ball come out of his hand, throwing it, and the way his teammates and the staff reacted to him on the pro day at OU. Heisman Trophy winner, former walk-on, finds Landry. Fourteen yards and a first down with a minute and a half to go and one timeout. Here he goes. He's great at the line of scrimmage. He knows this offense. This is when he's at his best. Playing up tempo. Mayfield fires. Pass is caught at the 35 by Njoku. Good catch for the big tight end. Great catch by a guy who's had some problems catching the football, but he went down and made a play for his quarterback. Be smart about it. Any, any points here is a real positive thing going in at halftime. The Jets get the ball to start the second half. They just picked up their fourth sack. They come on a blitz. Pass is caught. Landry stays up, but he's short of a first down. Speaking of the Cleveland Browns, let's check in with Christina Baker. Thank you, Joe. Well, it was Baker Mayfield the rest of the way after talking to Hugh Jackson at the half. Tyrod Taylor has officially been ruled out after being evaluated for a concussion. When I asked him about the performance of his rookie quarterback on that drive, he went three for four for 47 yards. He stopped me and said, did you feel the energy? He said, ball completed. Ball thrown in the window. He said, we have to see that in the second half. He said, he never doubted the composure of Mayfield taking the field, Joe. The first two games the most ever. Say that. I need to watch the tape, though. I got to go back and watch the tape. I play it until I watch the tape. I want to watch the tape. I watch the tape. Watch the tape. Watch the tape. Well, again, I'm going to watch the tape. I want to watch the tape. I want to know exactly what I see. Well, I'm, I'm going to go watch the tape. I'm going to go back and watch the tape. Go from there. Hi, I'm Will Selv inside the NFL Network newsroom with breaking news out of Cleveland. The Browns have fired head coach Hugh Jackson. This according to NFL Network insider Ian Rappaport. The Browns coming off a loss Sunday to the Steelers. The Browns. Ended up with a record of 3-36-1 under the tenure of Hugh. This has been, uh, it has consumed the airwaves everywhere, especially in the, in the Tri-State area. And I, I just, I, I almost, it's laughable now to, to me to hear all this stuff because the Giants are not trading or done. Well, shock and all, Kay, I saw you show the back pages of the New York headlines. Let's show you the Cleveland Plain Dealer this morning. Blockbuster, Browns, bag, Beckham, excitement through the roof here. There is all time dropping. You pair Jarvis Landry with his buddy Odell Beckham Jr. And you put to the franchise quarterback with Baker Mayfield back there. Those guys are going to be together for a long time. You know that river that was burning in Cleveland and that big parade they had after the Cavs won? They better have the firefighters on standby because that city is about to burn down. That is a Browns town and they can feel it and they can taste it right now. Mixon, what a game. He continues to have just falling people over. Joe Mixon 
down to the 25, pounding his chest. It continued in the nation's capital shortly after the Browns landed last night from Cincinnati. Owner Jimmy Haslam and the GM John Dorsey met with Freddie Kitchens and told him he too was fired following one season. Cleveland finished sixth. Some breaking news for that. We go to Chris Mortensen and Adam Schefter. What can you tell us, guys? All right, Sam, moments ago, the Cleveland Browns are going to hire Kevin Stefanski, the Vikings offensive coordinator, as their next head coach. This is. The Sanders, he's the release, but 
second and two. It is Chubb right through the middle. Touchdown, Browns. Ravens bringing the heat. Mayfield able to get out of there and throw, and it is caught. Touchdown, Rashard Higgins. Switch. Clinches the game for the Browns and puts them into the playoffs. Baker Mayfield, the man on which they use the number one pick in the draft to be the franchise quarterback, has just run for a Browns first down that will ice the game. And Cleveland snaps the longest active playoff drought in the NFL. 17 years of misery, 17 years of waiting. It's over, Browns fans. Nah, I think they're still the same Browns team I play every year. I think they're nameless, great faces. Um, they, yes, they have a couple good players on their, on their team, but at the end of the day, like, we, I don't, I don't know, like, it's, it's the Browns, it's the Browns. It's the Browns, it's the Browns. Heinz Field, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. There's one clear objective in playoff football, win or go home. Kevin Stefanski hit with COVID-19. The Browns head coach is not available. The Browns say, bring it on. Whatever you got tonight, I got to have it. I need it all. These guys don't need them. Follow it. We beat them into the crowd. We got to leave. Bring it. Let's go. Win on three. One, two, three. I have something I want to deserve. <laughs> Peter, dead Lance in the lead. In Russia. And they throw with a horrible snap. All the way back to the two yard line. And the Browns bounce it into the end zone where they wind up with a touchdown. Of all crazy things, you don't go to the playoffs for any stories are running back. Goes to Carlton and he's got it at the pitch. 
Mayfield takes a snap. That's going to do it from Pittsburgh from high field. Sit back and watch and listen to this one inside a half minute. And the Browns will not have to snap the ball again. They will beat the Steelers. Oh, my God. First win. And Pittsburgh has been in the league. I remember he ended my season. Oh, they ended our season. My first year. Maybe on 16, and they would want to give us our first crowd one, guys. That's poetic justice, but they, they battled hard. Keep going, y'all. Hey, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Hey, I'm off to Cleveland with this one.